three bags from the bag sale today plus one hard goods item that I'll show you for a total of 25 bucks. At the end of the video I might crunch some numbers and come up with some hypothetical number of how much profit I stand to make. I don't, uh, when YouTubers do that, <clears throat> do that, it's 98% just bullshit speculation, but let's bullshit. Why not? My views are down. All right. Uh, I'll start with the best thing that I found. This I got for 10 bucks. This is a sealed DVD box set from Time Life, Robin Williams, Comic Genius. These sell for minimum $100 used. So that paid for my entire week's worth of hauls. And the rest of this is bag sale stuff. So if you're new to the channel, I do clothing, men's clothing. This is an outdoor bag sale that's been running for a couple weeks, two, three, four, eight weeks. Uh, my sense of time is completely out the window. And you can buy a grocery bag full of clothing for five bucks, as much as you can fit in there. So cost of goods is, is nil. Banana Republic, what are these, um, Aidens? I guess that, oh yeah, Sloan's. Banana Republic Sloan's. That doesn't really mean anything, but this is red velvet, maroon burgundy velvet, flat front pants slash jeans. I never know what the proper keyword is, pants or jeans with these types of thing. Also, if you're new to the channel, most of this stuff, I just priced it at $9.97 or best offer. I'm just trying to make a little bit of money around five bucks per item because cost of goods totals out to around a quarter. And uh, I'm, I'm just trying to turn this stuff over quickly. And it's not necessarily stuff that I would otherwise buy unless I could get it for this cheap. Here's a Fila sweater. It's a men's large crew neck basic faded black sweater. That's probably worth around 15. The Drinking Irish. That eternal joke. That's very funny. Vintage GuitarTrader.com t-shirt. I don't know that this will be worth money. That'll be a recurring theme here, but it is, I believe, vintage and this seems like the kind of thing that maybe has a little bit of a customer base. I know from experience that this is Cooley Bar. There's no indication otherwise this is all worn off. But this is a, a Cooley Bar t-shirt. Cooley Bar stuff has really bad sell through and I don't think it's worth that much money. But again, $9.97 or best offer. It allows you to operate in these little slim with these brands, these cheap, shitty brands like Morona or I guess Cooley Bar or any number of other brands that you're gonna find, that bottom percentile of pricing will still move over. It'll still turn over. So there will be like 50,000 actives and like a thousand solds and they're all gonna be dirt cheap. So you can, it's almost like that layer of air in the submarine movie. When the water is rising, you have that little sliver of air. If you can get in to that 997 or lower sliver of air, you can still breathe. This is worth a little bit more. This is a gay men's kind of club wear brand. And I don't think these are, I guess maybe these are, yeah, these are swim shorts. I remember there being pretty high demand for nasty pig stuff. Old Navy basic cable knit sweater. This is a cable knit crew neck sweater. That's what this is called. That wavy texture, that kind of a weave or knit rather, that is cable knit. So that's honestly, it's still first class, but that's probably still a 997. Here's another one, J Jill. Nothing special at all. Size 12, basic, olive, straight leg jeans. This might fit me actually. I do wear women's jeans from time to time. You have to expand the pockets, but they fit better than men's jeans. And they're more comfortable. 
This has some sweat staining on the tag, which will be disclosed. I don't know, maybe it's too blown out for you to see on the video there, but size 12 linen dress, short sleeve dress. Talbot's is not a really that great of a brand, but this is probably worth around 15. Trash brand, Sabrino, as far as I know, I've never sold it, but it's pretty trash. Um, men's medium, rayon and polyester blend bowling shirt. That is the key word for this kind of a thing. That is a retro bowling shirt, popularized by Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. So the kinds of gar guys that uh, smoke cigars and talk about boats, like wearing these, 9.97. This is an upper tier trash brand. Oasis mid rise skinny floral ankle 12 slash 32 jeans. The floral print is good. I'm guessing these are worth probably again around 15 or so. I think this is actually a good brand. It strikes a bell, Swiss clothing, anything Swiss, Belgian, Scandinavian, clothing brands from that part of the world tend to fetch a little bit higher price. So I need to look this up, but uh, that might actually be worth something. Let's bag one of three. spill some basic Nike men's board shorts slash swim trunks or swim shorts this is an official NFL branded tie-dye LT t-shirt from the Chargers even me, dweeb that I am, knows that LT is a famous football guy. Don't know how much that's worth. It's a new brand to me. This has the look and feel of something that might actually be worth around 30. They're like women's activewear pants or yoga pants. They don't have that real yoga pants texture to them, but they do have some stretch. I may end up keeping these because I need something to wear beneath waders when I fish. Because I'm real cool. Here's a tourist long sleeve pullover t-shirt. I'm I may end up not listing this, I'll have to look it up. But Cinque Terra is a popular destination in Italy. don't recognize this, I will look it up. When I'm looking this stuff up, when I'm, you know, basically getting everything for free, all I'm looking for is that there's some demand for it and that everything is not, like the bottom of the market is not at five bucks. So if I came in, there was maybe 5% sell through on something and all of the comps were priced around between you know like four and seven bucks I wouldn't sell it but if there's even 25% sell through it I can get away like if 997 is close to the bottom of the market I'll put it up because why not here's another cigar guy brand Cuba Vera men's medium some of these are linen this one isn't or silk as well this is rayon and polyester. This is another bowling shirt. I think it has bowling. Yeah, it's got this. Is there a keyword for that? Whatever that is. Basic shirt. The plus sizes of Cuba Vera do quite well. There was a ton of vintage. I'm starting to get into it now. And this one's pretty beat up. 
It's a Pride event from 1993. I'll have to do some Googling, see if I can find the event in question. Together, proud and strong. And then it has a bunch of signatures on the back. This is from 1993. It's covered in stains, but I have learned accidentally over my career as a clothing seller that if you find the right vintage piece, it can be covered in diarrhea. It won't actually deter buyers. I got this, I think I've told this anecdote too many times on this channel, but I got this, I think it was like eight, 1985 Coors Light t-shirt that was white and I didn't see how bad the condition was in the thrift before I bought it because I was on my way to check out and I just happened to grab it off of a rack because I spotted it. It had giant armpit stains, bunch of holes in it. I, when I listed the thing, I even said, I was like, this thing is beat to hell. It looks terrible. Buyer be warned. And I put it up for auction expecting to get eight bucks for it. And it sold for like 35 if memory serves. So I'm hoping that's the same case there. Here's another LuLaRoe piece. I find myself buying a lot of this stuff. I've sold that uh, orange cardigan, the open front cardigan that was in a previous video and I've sold one little row t-shirt. Uh, stay away from this brand otherwise, unless you really know what you're doing because most of it is not worth anything. Is this a dress or a skirt? Because this thing is really big and it's kind of formless and I don't know exactly how to list it. I think it's, it's got to be a dress. I don't know. Here's another, is this vintage? No, so this is, this is just something weird. This is some like new age thing. Heart is queen, mind is trusted advisor, Shakti rising, Las Cruces, New Mexico. All right, so this is some crystal healing shit. Uh, I, again, I will look this up but I'm guessing that this might actually be in the $25, $30 range, but I'm not holding my breath on it. Here's a brand that I've not encountered before. Forever Fearless, here's the tag. Looks vintage to me. It's all messed up. Forever Fearless, it's got a shark on it. It's a basic tank top. I think this is women's. And it's got this subtle logo there. These summery tank tops and men's and women's are selling well for me right now. Here's a bra from Madewell. Madewell's nice, they're like J. Crew in that it's really easy to look up the style numbers. So I'll be able to get the actual name of this particular bra. Where is the brand? My god. Where did it go? Why can't I find it? Here it is. Made well. A lot of this stuff is worth buying. There's a brand I typically don't pick up. It's a men's slim fit medium button up shirt in a good collar. Last bag. I don't know this brand, <coughs> excuse me, but it feels quality. It's really stretchy. It has that kind of quality feel to it. Here is a nursing swaddle is that no it's just a swaddle not necessarily for nursing i don't it's a blob of fabric what's the brand it's halo i don't know if this is worth anything but maternity stuff can be worth money <clears throat> 
ate a peanut butter sandwich before this, you would think that your host would learn his lesson. Unfamiliar brand, 100% linen shirt. It's got a stain on the shoulder right there. So I may not end up listing this, but if this is a more expensive brand, with the stain listed for $9.97, make some quick money. Here is a vintage piece, vintage anvil tag, an embroidered Catalina Island tank top. Pretty confident that'll sell, probably for around 15. Basic champion duo dry XL t-shirt. Champion stuff has been selling for me. Champion, Russell, all the cheap activewear brands, I've been surprised. There's another Champion. It's got that embroidered C. I don't know either. This feels like wool to me, almost like smart wool. So I will look it up. I think the same person has probably been donating a lot of these pop culture shirts. This is a 2XL T Fury. I think that's, is that Lilo or Stitch? Some, uh, one of those, all right. Getting into the vintage stuff here. This has a really stretchy, midweight, vintage-y type fabric. The tag just says the number 40. And it does have stains on it. Big stain right there. But I, if this is, I don't know what the hell that is. This could just be an elementary school or middle school or something like that, but we'll see. That, this is still the kind of thing that'll probably sell for 10 bucks. Cause it's just aesthetic, etc. I was pretty pumped up about this. Gildan, Etta James t-shirt. Not that familiar with her. Blues to the bone. This is, I think, vintage as well. It's not single stitch. No clue what that's worth. This one is for sure vintage. It's on a jerseys tag. Size XL. This is a bar in Ireland. And I think it might be a famous one. Scott, sorry. <laughs> Uh, don't, uh, don't kill me. Scotland. And I couldn't find any stains on it when I looked at it very briefly. I tend to not buy white stuff at all. For that reason, there's always cryptic stains waiting to surprise you. There's a vintage St. John's Bay. Kind of, it, I don't know if that's color block or just striped. It's kind of right on the margin there. Vintage 90s polo shirt in a good size, large. I guess that's a good size. St. John's Bay stuff, the it's not good. It's another anvil. Think it's vintage. Broidered hula girls, women's t-shirt. Last item. This will for sure sell. Cabo San Lucas, it's vintage. It's seasonal. By the sea. 
All right, that was it. Let me count this up. Do some math. Okay, I got 38 pieces, not including the Robin Williams DVD set. So, so let's assume that I make five bucks profit per item, which is on the conservative end, considering that there's a few pieces in there that'll sell for more. That's 190 bucks, let's say, again, conservatively, I get 80 for the Robin Williams stuff, minus 25. So two, $245 profit, roughly, for one bag sale trip. So that's not clickbait numbers, but it's pretty good, and the real number is probably gonna be higher, I would have to guess. So not bad for a day's work. And uh, it's not easy money, because I still have to list all of this, but it is money. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.